So welcome to Shading Day, Zen 10, Jackie Rowe, CZT of RejuvenTangle.com. And we're here to shade our beautiful masterpiece that we worked on all week. So let's take another deep breath in, just like we've been doing all week. And out, get centered, let everything go. Let's pick up our pencil. And let's start with our first pattern here. And using the side of your pencil, we're just going to put a little graphite down right on the base, right above that line. Kind of giving it an aura. And let's do that with each section just above that line. Nice and slow and calm. Let's go over that again. Let's give it another layer. Very lightly though, very light. And now with your tutillon. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my tile. So you might want to turn your tile so that the tutillon is facing this line. And so we're going to go in little circular motion, staying very close to the edge, just smoothing out the graphite that we just put down. Now, depending on what type of paper you're using, it may not blend as well as some others. So don't worry too much about that. It will still blend. And we're just going little circular motions. Blending that out, staying pretty close to that line. Now keep it in mind that my camera doesn't really show the graphite as true as it really is. So it looks a lot lighter on your screen than it does on my actual tile. So maybe if I can go in a little bit more, you can see a little bit. So if I turn that back around, see, yeah, so it's very light on the camera, but it's on here, it's much darker. Not that it's real dark, but it's, it just shows up a little bit darker. So now I'm just going, going over that some more to kind of give it a little bit deeper look because what shading does it helps to make our tangles pop it gives us this 3d look so it's like coming off the paper a little bit or lifting up and now i'm also going to do in between so i'm going to do the other side as well now first i'm going to use what's left in my tortillon and if it's too light i'm going to add a little bit of graphite still using the side, always using the side of the pencil tip rather than the actual tip because it just blends better. So we're going to do that on that. So you can see how shading really changes the whole look of your Zentangle creation. All right, so now let's move on and we're going to shade hemp. Now this is called hemp or 3Y hemp. I like just calling it hemp. And for this, we're gonna do a couple different things. One is find those little intersections. Like right here, looks like there's a little intersection, so I can kind of just go in a rounded shape, always using the side of the tip. So I've got to put that roundish and then blend that in. And let's do that wherever you can find that kind of an intersection where it always looks, there's already a little round shape going on, or it looks like it could be. You can just enhance that a little bit. So 
it's like a little intersection where all the points kind of met. Remember, there's no perfection in Zentangle. Whatever we do is going to look great. That's the beauty of Zentangle. Just no matter what we do, it's going to look wonderful. But it's all about the process of just relaxing into each stroke, focusing on what we're doing. So the other shading I'm suggesting for this is to also do a perimeter shading, which we call a cushion or pillow shading. So I'm just going to put in some graphite all along the perimeter of this tile. So outlining the whole, I mean of this section, outlining the whole section with some graphite. Just along the edges. And then taking that tortillon and blending it in. And then I like to go around again, give it another blend smooth it out, maybe even push it up a little bit more to give it another lighter layer, making sure the middle stays nice and white and bright, just staying along those edges. So very cool. Wonderful. So now let's move on to Holly Bow and Anzepo. So first we'll shade Holly Bow. Now wherever you see the lines going underneath is a good place to put a little bit of uh, graphite. So this board is going underneath. So I'm going to put it right where it goes underneath and right where it goes underneath here, just a little bit. And then right here too, how it's coming out from the other side. And I like to try to face the tortillon towards the line. I don't always do it because I'm lazy but it works better. And so here's another area here and here and here and here. Oh, and here and here. Now another thing I like to do is also get the other ed edges, ends of those. So if I shade it here, maybe we'll do um, here, we'll get a little bit of shading on the other side, other end of that board. Keeping that nice highlight in the middle. And then with what's left of my tortillon, I'm just going to dab a little bit in these end zeppels, in the orbs, the balloons that we put in this. I'm just dabbing, not even thinking about where, but just to give it a little bit of graphite, a little bit of shading, just whatever's left of my tortillon, just kind of dabbing here and there to give it some nice shading. Now we have one more shading to go. 
And I have to tell you, I actually am going to go back to this because this is calling to me. So I am listening to my inner artist, my intuition, and I'm going to put some shading on this board as well, where it looks like it's going underneath and the edges, the ends. So the same thing. So pay attention. If there's something calling to you, do it. Don't always do what the teacher tells you to. Everything's a suggestion and it should inspire you to do what it is you want to do. So for Emingo, the first thing we're going to do is put a little graphite down in the middle of each one of these Emingles. And then blend that in just right there in the middle. And the other shading that I'm going to suggest for this is to do kind of like, kind of similar to what we did over here, piano keys, but just to kind of get in between, I'm going to turn my tile get a better, and I think right along the base of each one. Do a little shading. I'm actually going over the line on both sides there. Just kind of where the middle is between separating these kind of rows or sections, just a little bit in the middle there. Now when we're done, we want to sign our tile. So I got distracted because I see how I have, I still have this pencil line from the borders. And I, sometimes I like to just blend those in, just to kind of blend them in. That's just something I like to do. It's perfectly fine to erase. There are no erasers in Zentangle, but if you want to erase little things like that, it's okay. I won't tell anyone. All right, so now we admire what we've done. We want to sign our artwork. I just like to sign my initials. You can sign it any way you like, however you want to put your chop on there. Turn around your tile, look, see how it looks it's so different when we turn it around there is no right side up in Zentangle. And this is our week's creation. Please give the video a thumbs up, make a comment in the section. And most importantly, I want to see what you did. So every Friday, I post on the Rejuventangle Facebook page, a designated post just for all of you to post a photo of what you did. So uh, it will be up there today and just find, I usually try to pin it right to the top. So facebook.com slash rejuventangle. And in the comments, just po post a picture. You can write a comment as well, but I wanna see what you did and everybody else wants to see what we all did. So I look forward to seeing your beautiful Zentangle um, from Zen 10 this week. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.